Even Miss Moment. <laughs> this is my moment. Meet Chester. This is my perfect. His moment. perfect moment. Hey, oh, hey. Ah. What's that, Chester? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> now off you fuck. <laughs> Okay, so welcome guys, uh, we're Vita Delete Gaming and we're here uh, after a visit to EJX to talk about some of the games. Uh, most likely the actual AAA games for the moment. Yeah. Uh, so let's begin. So uh, what's the first game people played? Uh, me and Kate played Dishonored 2. We did. So what did what was that like? Because we haven't seen I've it. I've never yeah, it ever it. played, I didn't play Dishonored 1. Oh, I uh, have, I've played Dishonored 1. Number 2, it, it's pretty... <laughs> I hate to be that guy, but it's basically no. I hate to be that guy. <laughs> it's basically like yeah, Assassin's Creed. Agenda, it's though. basically like Assassin's Creed. You got like you'll be like putting in it like the demo was like you were putting this guy's house, weren't you? And it was yeah. like you got to kill this one guy and save another guy, and that was basically essentially the demo. Yeah. And then you could yeah. either like you could kill or knock out. It was that kind of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. You, so just... you, you, could, you could approach it either, you can go in there and murder everybody that you could possibly see, or you could try and stealth it. Oh, I do. Uh, you could actually do the entire section without murdering a single person, including the, uh, no the antagonist. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you do that? Why is the fun in that? I didn't manage to do it, but apparently you can freak him out so much that you, you just win. I don't know exactly how it works. Really? Freak him out so much yeah. that you win. Uh, so I don't exactly know how it works. I didn't do that in the demo. I just wanted to go in there and just stab everybody. So that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did too. Uh, so as part of this demo with Dishonored 2, you can actually play as two characters. You can play as uh, Corvo, who is the protagonist from the first game. Uh, you can also play as Emily, who you might remember as being the small, what you're saying? The small the girl from game. the first game as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. She's all, now she's all grown up. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. And now she's becoming. She's, she's, she is now an assassin. Uh, with their own set of skills, separate to what you have as the as you did in the first did game. Did you do the ghost thing that you saw in the trailer? No. I, I did, yeah, I did it once. Was it good? I did it once, I didn't actually use it to kill anybody, I tried oh. to use it to get through one of those electric barriers. Oh, yeah. Absolute work? fail, no. Oh, I didn't yeah. like that, <laughs> uh, so ghosts can still be electrocuted. Exactly, yeah. You become, you become this kind of like shadow creature, sort of like if anybody played uh, the Darkness games, very similar to what you've been doing that, you can become this sexual creature and you can go forward and then kill people with that uh but yeah it was, it was a cool game it was nice it's yeah, very similar right. very similar to the first game uh, it plays very similarly with with emily you can you can go more full at it uh cool though you kind of just it, 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 it's a man on man thing it's a very one on one very much more of an assassin whereas man -man. Em, whereas basically <laughs> yeah but the uh, guy the, the guy who let us in he, he did say that emily was emily is more for multiple more targets. exactly you can take out bigger groups than yeah. emily at the same time <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was a cool game. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm probably going to pick it up just because I had the first one. I really, really enjoyed the first one. Mm. And I just want to want more, basically. So I'm going yeah, to be looking into getting I've that. never played the first one, so I didn't really know what I was doing in the second one. But it's pretty straightforward. It wasn't yeah. like you didn't know what you were going to supposed to be doing. Exactly, so. yeah. Exactly. But it, it was yeah. cool. And it just it just It, just it was one of the basically. better demos yeah. there. In terms of the fact you actually had a mission to complete instead of just being like, you got like, you 20 had, minutes go. You did have a decent amount of time yeah. in that demo. Yeah, yeah. You, you, like you said, you had about 20 minutes to go. And you got a t shirt from it. I got, got a t shirt, shirt from yeah. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not rocking it at the moment, but we do have it around <laughs> somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, moving on from Dishonored 2, the next game people played. Kate, you played Final Fantasy 15. I did. Want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, again, it's pretty much like the demo that they sent out not so long ago. Not that bad, though. The last one. You know what? This this weird, this right? demo was pretty good. Uh, you need your car fixing. Uh, standard Final Fantasy, like, oh, well, while I just do this for you, will you go and do this for me? So <coughs> you sent out into, like, this kind of open world, yeah. essentially, mm -hmm. to kill these creatures. Uh, and you've got, like, the four characters, and each different character can do a different thing. So, like, one of them, I think he cooks. Another guy's got a camera, he takes photos. It didn't really say the point of that in the demo. Yeah, but like a role was as a cook. Uh, it's because, like, so you can set camps down. And he cooks and stuff. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. um, that was, like, a little part of the demo. You get so far and he's like, oh, let's make camp. And things like that. Um, so that that's, <laughs> that's good because a lot of, a lot of the, the games now, you have, like, like tank healer damage. Yeah. Like everyone has their own role, but that's more of like a survival kind of. Well, it's Final Fantasy. Mm. Well, real world. Final Fantasy yeah. is not gonna. It's not gonna be like that because that's not what Final Fantasy is about. No, but no. 
like I only I only played as Noxus really because I only had like a, I'm sure that? I think that's the same. Which one's that? The, one's um, the guy, the black spiky hair, but it was good and I enjoyed it. I'm gonna play it obviously because it's Final Fantasy, but the demo I don't know if it was just the AI is not very good. So like there's four of us and we're all in skin tight black leather in the middle of the desert. And you're trying to fight. Ooh, as you do. Yeah. Oh, you're, tra- like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you're trying to fight. And they're sort of all on top of you. And it gets a bit sort of like too So you much. get confused about who, which one you are. A little bit. And then, again, like there'll be loads of enemies around. So I'll go for the enemy the furthest like, out so I don't get confused. And I'll go for this one. And they all stop what they're doing and follow me. So the AI <laughs> is not very... Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry. It's not very intuitive. <laughs> so I don't know, and then the targeting system as well. I had to I had to fight some monsters in like a tiny shed, and because I was like targeting all these different ones, it was like spinning around, and I was like, "What's going well, on?" Yeah. So I don't know if a that's lot, just a lot of stuff going on the screen at the same time. Basically, yeah. I mean, I only had I I wasn't really having a I wasn't really trying to like have a full like look at it because I was just trying to you know just kind of get some play yeah, time yeah. in before <laughs> the like twenty minutes were up, but it. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be very good when it comes out. Really whenever you, whenever, whenever that is, whenever yeah, that's, you know, like 10... Apparently... We waited, we waited 10 years, so what's a, what's a few more months? There you yeah. go. So on the back of Final Fantasy XV, you also played World... Is it World of Final Fantasy? I played a tiny, tiny bit of World of Final Fantasy. Is that the pretty, chibi one, it? Yeah, pretty basic stuff. Two characters. You've got, a, like, a normal form, a chibi form. You can, It's turn-based, like the originals. Didn't really do much in the demo, so there's yeah. not... Can't really tell you anything about it really, just other than that part of the yeah, game. Cute, it looks cute as fuck. It is very chubies. cute. The chubbies are cool. It's gonna bridge the gap. I think it's just gonna. I think it's made to fill the time before Final Fantasy yeah, Fifteen yeah, and Kingdom Hearts yeah, Three. Kingdom Hearts Two Point Eight. I played. Uh, What's the Two Point Eight about? Who knows? Because none of the no, guys no actually no on the stand they couldn't give you a straight answer. Could say like so on top of two. This is the point eight, but the demo. You play this Aqua from uh, Birth by Sleep. You were in a land where time didn't exist. Um, oh, I, by the way, I played this too. Yeah, <laughs> but he doesn't know anything about I it. Didn't, I didn't know what I was doing, but it was good. Controls are pretty <laughs> much the same. Same basic, like, like number two. So, One thing I didn't know, like about sensible. the controls, I don't know, you're probably used to it because it's controls for the other ones. No. X isn't jump. <laughs> I'm like, why not? <laughs> Circles okay. jump. I think and I think, I think, no, a circle should be crouch. Exactly. Circles crouch. X exactly. is jump. You don't crouch. You don't crouch. You don't crouch. I, think, I think as you go back, you'll find more and more. That's that's the old control. Uh, that's the old control scheme for Japanese games. Yeah. Is that is that circles the main button? Yeah. I remember seeing a few games using triangle as jump. I think I think um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, I I I've heard someone say as well. There's a a part in the two point eight that wasn't playable. So, so the, that's not the whole of the eight. Well, eight bit. no. What what they what they did this before when they brought some other version of two eight. They had a game that came out on the DS like three hundred and sixty five days or something. It wasn't very good. So when they put it in with two, oh, yes. they basically just showed the game in cutscenes. So you didn't have to play it, but you got the story. Right. And I think by the sounds of it, there's going to be another segment in two point eight that is just like a mo- a kind of movie case. style. To bridge the gap between two and three, but at the actual show, no one could hundred percent confirm what the extra. None of them officially worked for Square Enix. They were just. No. I think uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of agency people. Yeah, yeah. 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 they work for the actual company. It was uh, good though. It was it, I I the gameplay was good. Yeah. The graphics are s- standard, like Kingdom Hearts. It, I, it, it, it's play. one of those. It's getting a great game on the PS Pro, I believe. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, yeah. it was good. Cool. All Square Square Enix, Square, Square Enix like Tomb Raider games. as well. Tomb Raider was in the yes. Square Enix two player, pretty fun. Basically covering. Oh uh, yeah, so so yeah, yeah, so Tomb Raider is now in a, uh, including co-op. a co op mode on PlayStation Four. We asked whether it was going to come to other platforms. They couldn't confirm or deny it, but they're pretty much. <laughs> but they, they gave us a wink. They yeah. didn't tell us no. Basically. It's coming. It's basically just survival mode with two people. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, pretty much. Whereas it's, it does Whereas, the whole Assassin's when, Creed thing yeah, where, where it makes you look like the main character. And the other person looked like someone else, even though both of you. It's are cool. A lot, a lot of them do that. So, the, yeah. so me and Chris played that together, and Kate and Jane played together. <laughs> so, uh, when me and Chris played together, we, we didn't realize the survival aspect to the game, and uh, and I starved and froze to death. Pretty yeah, we didn't quickly. realize we had to eat. Yeah. We were just looking for loot and cool stuff, and then at halfway through the thing, we all started like 
like we like getting really dizzy yeah. in the game. I've seen, like, I've seen what, pretty hungry what, right what here. What is eat? What? It's fun, but it's like, nothing like it's nothing amazing. Yeah. It's not like. It's not. It's, it's not groundbreaking. No, no, no. no, no, no. It's, it's just a little yeah. addition to the game. Well. Exactly. Yeah. Also supposed to have a VR as if well. If you don't like it, the so. style yeah. of Tomb Raider before, you're not going to like it because of this. No. Uh, mm. it's, it's not a brand new game. It's just a little addition. So, uh, so mm. I think for Square Enix, it's, it's good pretty that. much. So Square Enix. Square Enix demos were all good. Yeah. It they was... had a good show in it, Ajax, to be fair. They turned yeah, they're giant there. chocobos. They're giant freaky chocobos. Very they're, good. They're very good. Cool. <laughs> uh, so moving on from there, uh, we all played Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon was like really that. good. I like that. Horizon I like that, really but the, the demo was a bit The demo limited. was it was very limited. limited. Yeah. It was very limited. But it gave you the general gameplay aspect. Yes. I mean, it's six months out. You I'm not expecting it. But it, it's one of those releases where, again, they're keeping it all hush-hush. They don't want people knowing too much yeah. about it. They're yeah, not going to... Yeah, yeah. So, put yeah. too much in the demo for yeah, you. I uh, mean, when's the game due March, out? March. 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 That's over half a year away. Yeah. So it's a long way off. It's a long way off. But but I'm surprised that you managed to get game. To, to play something this early because yeah. it's not actually usually yeah. this early you can play a big yeah. AAA game. It like was that. one of the so most popular games. Yeah, by far the queues the for that the queues. game. Absolutely. We got there first day. Luckily. Yeah. 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 Because it was first day. It was the first thing we went to. It wouldn't have got anywhere. Yeah. 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 Stupid queues. So yeah, you go in, you're in this like little cinema thing, and you watch the demo, exactly, and exactly. you watch a little bit of the gameplay and a little bit of the backstory behind it, and, yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah. why, who you are, and why you're there, mm -hmm. and then yeah, we went into the back bit. We all started playing mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. I broke the game. <laughs> yeah, you broke. The I, I kind of like yeah. morphed into a mountain, and then it was it went all like just weird rainbow you colors. You glitched it out. I glitched it out bits. completely and I had to restart the game. Yeah. What, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> what I'm really yeah. looking forward to is that game. But it's early. <laughs> yeah. The story's going to drive exactly. that game. It's going to be game. really, yeah. really good. Yeah. Is it a 4K one as well? Yeah, yes. That's, so yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's a 4K game. game. Is, uh, it's going to have improvements with the PS4. But when when we played the demo, was that on 4K? No. No. It wasn't no. on 4K. But and that looked spectacular as it was. On 4K, it would look amazing. There was a 4K TV ran around the corner from there. Yeah. Right? That was playing at the, the demo, playing reel. demo yeah. reel. Yeah, and that looked like okay. watching that looked great. a film. It was yeah. better than watching that, Avatar that, that or something. Looks... Yeah, that did, it did yeah. look fantastic. Really yeah. It's interesting how she can interact with the machines mm -hmm. and turn mm -hmm. them for her. Yeah. Which I reckon that's going to be a... That's like riding, riding, she's yeah. going to be a chosen one, a yeah, special yeah. person. That well, it's going to be... Really it's going to cool. be like... Yeah, I reckon it's going to be a major like, we're missing out part of, of the yeah. game. We're missing out on a lot of story aspects, but I like that. I like that. Yeah. It's yeah. Gonna be yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of gaps to fill. Exactly. exactly. We went, we went to the developer session for it and they showed a little the bit same extra. Thing again, really. But they showed like yeah. 10 minutes extra. No, even that, 5 minutes extra like of the RPG elements, like the... But, it, but, it let, but at least it let you know you were there. Yeah. And they gave you a little bit more details cool. about what the story yeah. a little bit. Yeah. 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 Essentially, she finds that piece of tech that she wears in her ear, the, the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. The, the eagle and vision. That's, yeah. yeah. And, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and she's an outsider and the people in the village don't, don't like her. Don't the want the, her the there. story is basically mm -hmm. finding out your origin. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's an origin. And I think this game's going to be really big because it's going to be, it's a brand new franchise. Yeah. And they're going to, put a lot of money into the launch of it like they did with Destiny yeah like they're going to do a lot with that and because um, it's fairly unique there's a lot they can build upon it yeah. you can do prequels and sequels yeah, and everything yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a completely new story that we've not seen before yeah um, it's not it, it's about time we get a game that's not a sequel that's certainly yeah. one to watch out for that'll be one yeah. of the big I've, releases I've, I've think, I think yeah. this is probably the, the the best new IP that I'm looking forward to mm. yeah it's going to be coming along and yeah. it's going to be like that I think for a while, I can't really think of anything that I'm really as hard. No, for. It's top of the list. Uh, as a new IP, as Horizon Zero Dawn. So yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty mm -hmm. excited for it. It looks, it looks good. Looks it looks like it's gonna be really cool. So, however, the, the only one thing is it won't be multiplayer, will it? No, no. Just I, story it, based. Isn't, it isn't going I to think, have a multiplayer aspect. No. I don't mind that so much. No, 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 no. I think there's enough multiplayer games going around. Yeah. It's true. It's yeah. true. Uh, that you don't get enough story just game. single player games these days. Yeah. You always get a single player game where they have like a tiny multiplayer. Component like you got Uncharted, it doesn't need more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've completed, I've, I've I've completed on Uncharted 4, I, I have felt no compulsion to play the multiplayer whatsoever. <laughs> to be but I mean, with all the new technology that's coming out now and everything they're going to do, they, it's not going to be too difficult for them to add a multiplayer mode. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's going to be as successful I'll, as I'll, I'll, I think I'll it will be. Play it. You know I mean? <laughs> and it's just like all this spectacular footage you showed me from Angle, but where's my Azu Pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Where do exactly. I kill people online? <laughs> <laughs> Who do I carry? Come on. I'm going to kill noobs. At least Jamie won't have any problem with lag. 
<laughs> that's not a Christmas business. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. We love you, really. Jamie could be with us. He's not dead, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> He's not with us. Anymore. He's not with us. <laughs> He's in a better place. <laughs> He's in um, bed. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh my god. He's no longer with us. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll we'll touch on shortly because we didn't actually play them, but we have played them both before. We'll touch on Battlefield Battlefield one and Titanfall, and Titanfall yeah, two. two. Uh, so Battlefield one, we played the myself and Chris played the beta uh, of Battlefield one. How did you play the beta on there as well? I you? have watched people play it. Yeah, I haven't yeah. played it myself. So we played the betas. We, we didn't actually play the map that was available at EGX. So the EGX map was the I think it was the German village. Yeah, uh, what was the played uh, previously at the, E3 uh, and such. Yeah. The blimp. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas we played the the the, uh, the desert map uh, on the on the beta. Uh, but from what we played so far, it seems I think very, it seems really good. It like, seems really, really good. The fact yeah. that it's gone back to World War One, that you feel like you're in a proper war. Because I, I exactly. didn't like all this future, future war, war stuff, stuff that, you, like that, that you, yeah. you don't feel like. No imaginary part. wars. They're just literally it's like oh. someone's brainchild. But with World yeah, War One, it's yeah. going to be. You, you it, feel it's like correct. Ah, oh, this boy's like to be a World War One soldier. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It, it seems very gritty and very, very visceral. Oh yeah. It when you stab like someone with a bayonet, you know it's happening. Yeah. You know it's happening. <laughs> it, it seems. It seems. I say it seems very dirty, but in a, in a good way. Like there's a lot of it's, it's grimy because it's meant to be. Yeah. yeah. That, that, yeah. That's what World War One was like. like yeah. It was. It's by far the most devastating war that's ever happened. Yeah. So you, you feel like... And you, you feel like it was you're that way. You were a soldier in that. So it, was it, was ju- it was not long after the Industrial Revolution. You can see all these... They're, they're still experimenting what they got. So they're bringing in these tanks, but they're just basically ma- massive chunks of metal just rolling down the down yeah, the battlefield. Yeah. And we've got tanks, and you've still got people on horses. On horses with swords. It's, it's, it's mad. It is, it's madness, it is, but it, it plays It brings so a new well. style to battlefield, I think. It does. It does, by far. Since, and, and especially it, since it, the 1942 It's one. definitely a way that nobody's went beforehand by now. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to Battlefield One. Yeah, uh, I like it as well because all these FPS games they're adding more things and making it more complicated and making it more futuristic. They've stripped this one With back. With Battlefield One, yeah, they've stripped yeah. it and they've taken it back to bare basics, which I love about games. Yeah. That's I love the bare basic it's games. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Yeah, not, yeah, not just, like, just, yeah, you, have to yeah, you don't, you don't have this sniper rifle with million scopes you can have on. Yeah, all these attachments. I want it all tiger Laser camouflage. <laughs> Yeah, the the pink oh. camouflage that everybody has in those games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I do like that. I do, and they've kept it very, very current as well, so to the period as well. So they've, they've, it seems to be very accurate to the time. Obviously, yeah. it's a video game. It's going to be over the top. Yeah. It's not. It's not a simulation. Yeah. Uh, but it seems to seem they've tried the best to get as much in there as they physically could accurately. Yeah. Uh, going in a completely opposite direction to that Titanfall Two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where it's With absolutely over the top, complete. Not Pacific Rim. Not for some reason, <laughs> basically. Uh, but I, I, I'm, a, I'm a massive fan of the Time Fall series. The Time Fall one didn't do fantastic. No, it was. You know why? Because it was only on the Xbox. It was, one, it was an Xbox One exclusive PC. and PC. We got it on PC, and I, I I played the shit out of that game. To be honest, yeah. I really really liked the first Time Fall game. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Time Fall two. So when we played it on the PlayStation initially, I have I have one fault with the, when when we yeah. initially played it was it was slowed down like stupidly and the titans just took a load of damage and didn't last very long whereas yeah. you expect when you run around as a soldier you're going to die quickly but if you get a massive titan robot mech thing mm-hmm. you, you, you think you're going to last a bit longer exactly. and you're you going to be a badass and kill everyone the that's the main game. it's yeah. titanfall that's the main thing you want in that game but when the titan gets like kill, killed like a bitch you know yeah. what I mean? You don't yeah. want that. Like, you, you don't do feel any more powerful there's than you no, did when you were no a soldier. There's no point in like, trying to summon one or have yeah. a bee call them in, whatever. Yeah. yeah okay. I've never played it. Call in a Titan, yeah. yeah. Summon so, 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 <laughs> uh, them. Shut up, Final Fantasy girl! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm still looking forward to it. I'm still, yeah. still going to definitely going to be They did make it faster when after the after the first week of the beta, yeah. And then they updated it and then they brought it out. It did play a lot more similar to the first, to the previous game. Yeah. Uh I, I'm looking forward to it. The only problem I've got with the game is that it comes out a week after Battlefield One, yeah. uh, and Battlefield One when it comes I'm out. I'm quite surprised gonna, that they're doing that because it's yeah. both the same. It's EA, they're, like they're both they're, EA. They're competing they're, their own games against each other. They're, they're, they're very different games. Battlefield One's a it's big still, multiplayer. Uh, it's like yeah, yeah, they're they're cornering like, two markets as at long once. as EA yeah. are making money, they ain't gonna care. Exactly, exactly. Like, yeah. They'll bring out deals. You know how much EA loves money. Season passes for both of them. Literally, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to both of those games, and 
I, th- I think a majority of us will probably get most of both of them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, if you two want to take a piece on FIFA 17 while me and Kate leave the room, <laughs> <laughs> you're more than free to do that. FIFA 17. It's, um, it's, it's more FIFA. It's, it's, really it's more it. FIFA. Yeah. Uh, they're using a, a brand new engine on the game. Yeah, the Frostbite engine. Oh. The Frostbite <laughs> engine. Uh, so, but. <laughs> You've had your Final Fantasy moment, Sorry. come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, graphics are better. There's more things that the players do. There's more things that you like can what? do on the actual yeah. game. Just um, just uh, things like animations. and The animations just, are a lot more better. Like, like celebrations. Like like I, will, I, will say, I have seen you. I've watched you play FIFA 17 at the corner of my eye while I watch it anime on a different screen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I do like the direction that EA yeah, is going using the same engine for basically all their games. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, a good looking engine. That, that Frostbite engine is Saves fantastic. Money. Yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, but that Frostbite engine is a fantastic engine. It's yeah. really, really cool. Now, I think the only big release they're going to have that isn't going to be on that engine is Titanfall. Uh, because yeah. Uh, yeah, it runs on a modified source engine, I believe. Uh, uh, but other than that, pretty much every major game that they're releasing is going to be on that Frostbite engine. Yeah. And it, so it just shows how much of an adaptive, adaptive engine it is as well. Mm-hmm. That it can do basically anything. I like it. I think it's cool. Yeah. I think it's really cool that they go doing that as well. So the, sh- the short and sweet of FIFA is it's... FIFA, but with a new engine. It's got a story mode as well, which I've I've I tried That's on the on the cool, demo, and you know what? It is cool. It is it is cool because you can there's there's like conversations you can choose what you say and stuff like that. You can make yourself a real like dick, or or you can make yourself a nice guy. <laughs> but like what what you, what happens on the pitch in the game will change the story completely. Apparently, so mm. it looks really good. Mm. And they've got like proper managers in there now and all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, the only problem I have with the game is the new penalties and the uh, the new like corner system and free kick system because it's just changed every, all yeah. of it, hasn't it? Release date for FIFA is in uh, what's that? Forty three minutes. Yep, we're, we're probably <laughs> gonna, I'll probably so, go pick that up in about forty three minutes. To be fair, yeah, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, but um, yeah, it's just some of the the corner system and the free kick and the penalties need work. I think. I think you can change that though. I okay. don't. I, I don't think that's going to be forced going upon to, you. Because I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. I'll so, give so it a go. In, instead of seeing your player at the corner flag and kind of directing, you've got like a dot where you aim it. You've got a target on the pitch that you move around, but I'm, I don't think that's. <laughs> and that I haven't had yeah, yeah, we, we didn't take penalties <laughs> when we played it. Should, should we get? But we saw bits, we, when we were waiting to play it. We saw two people try to take penalties and they looked really difficult to do. Yeah, they're different. So you're moving on from FIFA. We're moving on. FIFA's yeah, coming out soon. You'll be able to play that. <laughs> uh, Dawn of War. Dawn of War. Dawn so of you War. two play Dawn of War. Dawn of War 3. Um, it's been a while it, since Dawn of War. <laughs> it is the same basic uh, kind of, you know, top-down, yeah. real-time strategy, futuristic. It's just Dawn build of War. You, build your units, build your army. There's, it's attack. just got a little bit more to it. it the graphics, graphics are, are better. better. Uh, the game is faster. It has... I think it has more of the Warhammer races yeah, as well. Does. Yeah. Um, also, I didn't know. I don't know if you noticed this as well, but the the landscape changes as you play it. Yeah, yeah. They can On the ice, I could see bits of the cliff edge range. falling away, yeah, yeah. and land bridges would crumble, you, and you, you have to find a different route round. That's yeah, cool. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cool, actually. Yeah, so that's so yeah, that, yeah, yeah, if you cool, destroy a bridge, you can stop cool. the army from advancing in that. Kind and you, of yeah, you can bottleneck the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just by destroying terrain, as exactly as opposed to actually going. At the enemy it's, been a, cool. yeah. it's been a long time since Dawn of War 2. It, it has, it's, yeah, uh, it, yeah. It's about time they made one, so. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. Really. No, Dawn of War would be good. Dawn of War. That's uh, one to get. I had a quick go on Lego Dimensions. Yes, what do you think? Uh, I actually I, I actually have um, Disney's uh, Infinity Trooper and I had all the superhero ones. Played with it for like two weeks, put it away in the cupboard. Yeah. All my figures in the cupboard. Lego Dimensions. I don't know why I didn't buy that instead. Like you I said, she should. Yeah, the setup that you had for it, where you put your little figures on. We were playing a Ghostbuster one, the new Ghostbusters. Ah, uh, the the winning Ghostbusters. Yeah, haven't seen the, it. The so. femdom version. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the gender there was <laughs> the present, past, and future, and you'd move your little Lego characters around, and like you could interact with the past to change the present and all this and that. Pretty cool. The characters you can put things in their hand. Like weapons, oh, and like the, the actual like characters, the actual as in figures, the figures. Okay. Um, the vehicles you can take them apart, rebuild them differently. They will be different in the game. Mm, okay. Definitely. So it's not I just like, a case of holding down circle except, while he yeah. throws the bricks together. You but like what you, you, are. you actually you physically life. interact with the Lego. Ah, so yeah, so you awesome. build the thing. So you, you actually build it, build it, and then you put another thing in it. 
scans it into the game. What yeah. awesome about this one? That is quality. As opposed to <clears throat> Disney's one is so like in Disney's one, certain characters did different things. So if you wanted like a flying character, you got to go and buy Iron Man. If you wanted yeah. this and that, this one it's literally the only people you need is Wild Soul, Batman, and Gandalf, which all come in the starter pack, and then all the other packs you choose if you want them or not. Batman and Gandalf. Yep, yeah, Batman, what Gandalf, a team. Wild Soul. What a team. So like I'm, the, I've never watched any of Ghostbusters, so I don't want that pack. I don't need it. I can, I can just pick and choose whatever packs I want, which is really cool. So yeah. I really like. And there that. is a, a, there's a wide variety of characters now. Like Scooby Doo. Yeah, right? like Wave. This is the, the Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters Adventure Time Gremlins. These are all the second wave. Mm. So I imagine the first wave of characters are not going to be Who? that expensive anymore. Doctor Who's on there. So yeah. now is a definite time to, if you want them, get them, because they'll be cheap now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I think the last game we want to really touch on is We Sing. Uh, so it's kind of like a rental sing star, basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you don't, you don't buy the songs anymore. You rent You time. can buy the songs. You rent time. But you have the op- option to buy, say... Pay a, a pound for an hour. I think it was ninety nine pence for an hour. You get fifteen songs on the disc. It's thirty. It's was 30. it thirty? Okay, yeah. I can't remember. It's yeah, so I, I think, in, I think the, the way it's going to work is you initially pay fifteen pounds or thereabouts, get thirty songs on the disc. But instead of, you can choose to do it this way. Instead of actually purchasing the songs, uh, you can have time. You can buy it on a time basis. And you get all the songs uh, in the it's whole a library. That they you get the entire library. Service, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you get the entire <laughs> library to use. Uh, for that allotted amount of time, so that's I essentially think, party mode. Yeah, basically, yeah. basically yeah. I, th- I actually, I think, I think this, it's a good idea. I yeah. think it's a very good idea because how often do you really pull out those style of games? No. Only when you have people around. Sing Star's not a game that you get home from work. You're like, oh, I can't wait to go on some <laughs> go Sing Star. Sing Star. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You have it it's, for it's five a, hours straight. It's, it's a party game, basically. Yeah, you, have it, you have it when you have your friends <laughs> over. You have it when you've got events happening, and that maybe that would happen once, twice a month. Yeah, yeah. And paying that. Two three pounds. Yeah, and especially if you got a group, you could kind have of split the, the money. Yeah, exactly. yeah. To, to yeah. then have the entire library to play with. It's, it's I think a very, it's a really very really cool idea, way of yeah. doing it. I think it's a really cool and way of doing the it. The fact that you can use you, you you can got an app on your phone, you can use that as your a phone microphone. Is like a microphone, or exactly, you can buy yeah. mics. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that was, that was I think what he said thing. was the like the rock band and guitar hero yeah, mics they work. I think as long as it's a microphone, it'll work basically. Yeah. So I, th- I think that's a really cool idea. I really, uh, yeah. I really like the sound of that game. So I'll get this. I'll, I reckon it's gonna be one I'll pick up. Yeah, I've already got. That's what I said to the guys. Like I've already got Sing Star. I've already put so much money into it that for me, I'm not gonna buy We Sing. But if I didn't have Sing Star, I'd totally buy yeah. it. It mm-hmm. makes it just makes more. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick it up because it's, yeah. it's, it's cheap. And it's... And, and we have people around quite a lot. Yeah. 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 So I think I think it's a really cool idea. I like the sound of that quite a bit. I played Elder Scrolls oh, Legend. Yeah, I, I think yeah, that's what it's called. Game. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. It was good. It was fun. But not gonna lie, it is Hearthstone with a uh, Skyrim skin. Literally. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, only, the, only, the only difference, the only thing that they've, they've, they've done is uh, they split the playing, like, the board. Evie! You got a Man too down! Big. She got too big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They've split the board, and depending on where you put your cards, like there's different things that will be in the level so like the one in the demo was they get an extra like shield for one round and then he said like in other rounds maybe they get like plus two to their health Mm. and that's literally the only difference between that and hearthstone okay so (laughs) So it's it's hearthstone for bethesda fans basically basically like it's it's good well i play hearthstone so Mm. And you're more, I'd say, you're more of a Bethesda fan than a. Yeah, it's it's fun, and and the the idea about. about changing, the the board or the playing it, whatever you want to call it, like the, it it's it's a, it makes it different, but it's not yeah. that different from Hearthstone. So, yeah. if you already have Hearthstone, you're fine with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't like... need it. You know. <laughs> if you're a isn't half if you're a massive isn't, Bethesda fanboy, well. Elder Scrolls yeah, yeah. fanboy, but this, this fan one's girl, really true. Oh, they're very good to play. So. And they get to buy packs of cards. Mm. Maybe. I, I've I've never bought, that's how Hearthstone makes I've never money. bought a pack in Hearthstone. Yeah. And I'm, 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 I'm doing is fine. It, so. Is it free? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's free. free. It's free. Cool. Just yeah. like Hearthstone. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go, guys. I think that's... that's the we, triple A's we played anyway. Then, yeah, we, we did miss we, a few. We we lost a, we missed a lot basically. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we didn't end up you know, being able to play. To be honest, we spent a lot of time in VR 
and in the indie section, mm. uh, which we'll we have a separate indie, videos for. Indie, yeah, video. uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy our opinions <laughs> on the game that we played at EGX. <laughs> and we'll be back soon. Cool. Bye. Take Bye. care, guys. Ciao. I'm dead. I jumped into that, that was my own fault really. Chris, you gotta do this, I'll send it to one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Why do we why do we leave the, the last thing to do? <laughs>